Good morning, our viewers. May 18th, 2024 is the day today. The morning devotion is, is entitled Victorious to Defeat. Victorious to Defeat. We see as the religious history is or is continuing to move on. We saw and we saw oftentimes there were wars that were happening. We see Christians were always persecuted. However, the truth still triumphs and God's word still moves on. I happened to share a clip, a video clip with some friends. And in that clip, I was so surprised. I saw a certain group of people that were beaten with stones, that they were hit and hit to death. Now, these people died and they were defenseless. They did not try to defend themselves in at all costs. And this video clip was happening in a Western African world. Upon finishing the, the clip, there was an explanation that the Christians were being persecuted because they had refused to follow the Muslim sector. But we see historically this happened. And however much it happened, the truth of God still triumphant, still is always there. Now, our scripture reading is extracted from the book of Revelation. This, the chapter is 6 and the verse is 2. And it says, And I looked and behold a white horse. Behold a white horse. He who sat on it had a bow and a crown was given to him. Had a bow and a crown was given to him. And he went out conquering and to conquer. He went out conquering and to conquer. The big question is being asked, what is the white horse? What is the white horse? What does it mean? What is the symbolic meaning this white horse was trying to portray? So what stage of history of the church does this white horse represent? What stage of history or what theological history does it contribute to us? Now, very, very many people came out with different versions and meaning of the white horse. First of all, we see way back in the 16th century, the people visioned or tried to interpret this white horse as a military representative. They were saying the white horse was a representative that represented the Romans as they fought against the Parthians. A Parthians. It was a group that was fighting against the Romans. So they thought the white horse was a symbolic example or it was representing the Romans in war with the Parthians. We see number two, the futurist. They, sh they, sh they saw that symbol to represent a final antichrist. They thought that the white horse was representing a certain sector or group that was representing the end of the antichrist. However, we also see that some Catholic authors represented or tried to see that the white horse represented Christ himself overcoming with his church. That the white horse was the representative of Christ and uh, as he was triumphing over with his church and walking victoriously with his church. However, Adventists today or currently recovered the original truth of the white horse. The white horse simply represented the apostolic triumphant of Christianity that was victorious. Remember when the apostles came up, immediately Jesus was crucified and they came up and began preaching the gospel with vigor, with 
and power and lots of Christians were converted. So that was the true meaning of the white horse in the Bible. We see that currently the church is having a different problem or it's going through a chaotic moment. We see that the church today is given over to idolatry. But however, despite all the challenges the church is going through, the truth will always remain triumphant and victorious. Now, our brother Huss, John Huss, the says reformer, remember he was taken and burnt simply because he was trying to preach or to do the good or to pass on the good news to the people. But as he was dying, despite the flames all burning his body, he spoke one thing. These were his sins. He said, he said that not even apostasy or persecution or the sexualized world or any other attack will or any other violent will fight against the truth. He said, despite the fact that they were burning him, despite the fact the violent, all the challenges the church had made to, to suppress the truth, he said that truth will always suppress. And true to his word, as he died, the truth already surpassed. The church, the faithful children of God, the message for our times will always triumph. It will win. This is the theology of the history that the white horse gives us. That despite the challenges, the turmoil, there will always be the truth that will always triumph us. Take the banner of truth today wherever you go. Fellow Christians, it is our duty to pass on the truth to this world. Passing on the truth does not mean you do it on a smooth road. The devil is never happy. But we have to continue despite the challenges we have. We have to continue passing on the truth. Despite the persecution, despite the violence, despite the burning of sins, the truth still remains. So the white horse is a symbol that represents that despite all the challenges, the truth will remain and will triumphant. May God bless you. Thank you for listening. Let's pray. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for listening to your word. Let us remember that it's you that can help us be able to pass on the truth to others. Help us learn to pass the truth to others. In your precious holy name I pray. Amen.